when disruption changes everything. It can show you a world of possibilities. And together, we can transform your business in every industry, in every country, every day. Accenture. New. Applied now. We have a, a big challenge in front of us, but uh, we do have a lot of parties that are interested in working together, collaborating to make things happen. So whether it's the government, industry, NGOs, uh, organizations such as NASCOM Foundation, uh, we all need to come together uh, to work towards a common goal and uh, achieve uh, true outcomes uh, that will uh, provide uh, up upliftment to society as a whole as well as benefit uh, the, the industry in the future. The challenge is complex as far as the skill gap between uh, what is required and what we have today for us to succeed and grow the economy. Uh, for the government and at the national level, clearly employability and gainful employment are both equally important imperatives. For organizations, there is clearly a aspiration that they have to fulfill, but they recognize that the talent available with them today is not sufficient to meet that aspiration of growth. For an individual, it's important to build a culture of continuous learning. For them to recognize that it is important to continue to remain relevant, to continue to upskill, relearn, learn, invest in themselves, to future-proof their employability. You know, events like these or platforms like uh, the NASCOM CLC uh, makes a lot of sense because it, it brings together non-profits and it brings together the right people in the CSR space. CSR today is not just about you know those you know filling that two percent and getting it you know checklist off your annual report. I think CSRs today are more invested. CSRs today are more empathetically invested in you know actually bringing about a social impact or a change at the grassroots level. And organizations or I think events uh, or platforms like these bridge together the con and you know help initiate conversations between nonprofits who are the implementing people at the grassroots levels and the CSR where you know not just the funds lie because I think most nonprofits also feel that oh CSRs are only spaces where the where the money is I would go a step beyond to say can we make them partners as a nonprofit you know can I make sure that you know the CSRs are really invested in bringing about change and that happens with you know when relationships are built that doesn't happen on a one-day event but I think these events kickstart that conversation and I think that's that's a great start we have to solve those. We have to have a discussion. We have to include all of the um, all of those all of the stakeholders. We have to speak with children. We have to speak with parents, teachers, educationalists, government, and the private sector to find the solutions. We know how to. We know generally how to keep children safe. We know the rules they should follow. But we need to encourage a debate in India throughout India. We need to engage children. We need to teach them why it's important to stay safe online, what can happen if they don't, but also how they do that. What, what are the do's and don'ts of the, of the internet so, so that they can follow some simple rules and stay safe online. I always love NASCOM events, especially because they really curate the people who are uh, in the business, in the, in the, in the um, scheme of things so well that uh, it really creates a kind of a magic effect on the type of outcome which you see in, even in the discussion. So there are like many key takeaways like creating a platform or finding a kind of a common uh, goal for NGOs as well as uh, CSR. I think that is what, what is, I, I would say is a key takeaway. From this event is that it's important uh, to you know synergize uh, one's efforts uh, with all stakeholders. It's important for the government, for instance, to have a right policy framework for you know protecting children online, and for the government to have the same. It's important to involve experts. It's important to involve other stakeholders, civil society workers, and uh, a lot of uh, I would say social media platforms. You know their their uh, involvement is equally essential. 
essential to get a very, uh, I would say, comprehensive policy in order. So that's from the government and the PPP model that I would uh, really strongly advocate. And second is the uh, part that the law enforcement, for example, needs to collaborate also, you know, in tackling crimes. So it's not just awareness, uh, it's also making new policies, uh, tackling the crimes if there is law enforcement. We need to train them, we need to educate them, and the judicial process needs to be, uh, I would say, strengthened with more trainings given to the judges. So all these aspects are something which are like beads in the thread. You have to have everybody together on a single platform. And I think this event has tried to do the same, uh, especially when it comes to stakeholders like civil society, uh, the NGOs uh, who are working in this field, uh, the uh, social activists, uh, also the government and uh, to some extent uh, it has also got involved uh, law enforcement. So that's important and uh, being a cyber lawyer I know I t tackle and deal with these crime issues every day and the rate at which this is growing is phenomenal. Uh, out of every 10 cases I have probably 6 or 7 turn out to be issues which are linked directly with online crime against children. So this is a growing field and it needs a very uh, strong, uh, I would say, strategy to combat. The panel that we were on today, uh, where, where we spoke, was about innovations in primary health care. Uh, and my main message to everyone, what we spoke at the panel as well, is collaboration, preventative and predictive is the way to go. Collaboration, there, is, there are not enough funds and for a country our size and scale, fragmented efforts are not going to amount to anything. So the number one thing that I want everyone to take away is that collaboration at a government, sub-government level, which is a state central government, also at government and private, private-private, government, technology, startups, everyone, collaboration at every level uh, to achieve this common objective, that's number one. The number two message that we want to talk about is the the stage where we can make a meaningful change by focusing all our energies and collaborating is at a preventive stage and at a predictive stage because by the time diseases get to the treatment and a curative stage again with a country our size and scale we sort of lost the bus by then so therefore all uh, whether it is innovations whether it is health technology you know we'd like everyone to think more on the predictive modeling of diseases as well as picking up you know the, the diseases early so that we can work on uh, prevention. Uh, those are my two messages to everyone. Thank you. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.